Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Long time no see, sorry it's been a minute since I made a video in this kind of format last. Uh, today, as you can see from the video title, I wanted to talk about some more Amicide lore. And if you don't know, Amicide is my Warwick as inspired animated series that I'm working on that I talk about on this channel sometimes. So, this video is going to be a little different than my usual Amicide content because I normally talk over a speed paint and do that kind of thing, but today I'm going to be uh, showing some graphics that I've drawn and talking over that. But um, I'll explain uh, also why it's going to be especially different. Um, so today on Twitter there was a document released that basically was explaining the links between uh, native indigenous culture and the writing that the Aryans have used within Moray Cats uh, regarding certain aspects of the universe and stuff like that. Uh, because of the links uh, and the voices of native people that have been speaking out on this kind of thing, I wanted to change the things that I use within Amicide that are these links and stuff like that to, to be more respectful and just... I don't want to use things that the Aryans have used from other people's cultures uh, if they're not happy with it, obviously. So, uh, I'll link that document in the description. Uh, I urge you to read it. It's really good and educational. And I've I've heard of these kind of things before, but I didn't know where to get all of the information but now that doc's come out it's really helpful so i do urge you to read that and uh yeah i will get into the changes that i have made so the first change uh which is also one discussed on the document as something that people should change is the way that i have been naming things in amicide so firstly the clans themselves are now called colonies that's just another word for clan, it's fine, it doesn't change anything. So now we have Ridge Colony, Thistle Colony, Grotto Colony, and Creek Colony, instead of clans. They're still named after the founders and they work the same, I've just used a different word. As well as this, the naming has changed for the actual cats themselves. Instead of two part names with a prefix and a suffix, like cow spring, they're now only one word names. So as I just said cow spring, his name is just cow now. You just take away the the suffix. Uh, so in addition to this, the structured hierarchy for the naming has changed. The kit, paw and star suffixes no longer exist in Amicide, so a cat will have a name when they are born and they will keep this name throughout their life. So for example, Hound Star is a leader, her name is now just Hound, and when she was a kitten she was called Hound and she's had this name as a kit, apprentice, warrior, deputy and now as a leader as well. And speaking of those roles, I have changed the names of every single role, so we'll get to that later. The last thing uh, name-wise changing other than the roles is that Medicine Cats are now called Healers. So Hobble and Fever are now just Healers and Healer Apprentices. It's pretty easy so far, right? So the next changes aren't as related to that document, but they're more me thinking, if I'm going to change a lot anyways in the series, I might as well change as much as I can. And then that also helps me make... Um, Amicide a separate IP which helps out when I'm developing the series so that I won't get taken down from for working partners or anything like that and the errands and that kind of thing. So uh, the second change I've done is ranks. Not a lot has changed in the way that the ranks work but I have uh, changed all of the names. So um, the leaders are now called commanders and they do the same thing. Deputies are now called subordinates. They also do the same thing. Medicine Cats obviously are healers. I've already had delegates, which if you don't know, they're basically an extra role that I've added where um, when there is a big issue in the clan, the delegate is trusted to gather a council to sort out that specific issue. And they get a different council every time because some issues people might be more biased on. So they don't want to get one council and tell everyone about that one thing. So they gather different ones. We also have uh, the fact that the warriors are now called competence. It's literally the exact same thing. I just change the name they fight hunt train apprentices they don't really have a specialized one the competence are just basic because uh, as i'll tell you now they each clan has their own specific kind of warrior some most of them have two uh, one clan only has one but i'll tell you them now so ridge colony has nest scouts these cats they patrol the territory of ridge colony and they pick for nests with birds of prey and anything that could really hurt the clan they also just deal with predators in general because they get a lot of stuff up there in the cliffs and at the beach uh they also have rubble catchers who basically just make sure that nothing is dislodging around the territory none of the cliffs are like breaking apart and are gonna hurt anyone and they do that kind of thing 
In Thistle Colony, they have both Thorn Den combatants and Moss Den combatants, along with the normal combatants. Thorn Den is the highest ranking, they're usually put to fighting. Moss Den, they're usually put to training the trainees and hunting. Um, Creek Clan only have one specialized combatant and they're called current chasers they're basically cat lifeguards they patrol the water because most of their clan is obviously water and they just make sure no one's drowning or anything like that and then finally grotto colony they have gatherers who go around their camp in the massive caves and find crystals and discover new kinds of crystals and that kind of thing and then tunnel scouts who basically swim around and see if there are any branching off tunnels and they keep clear the ones they have found and then find more so those are the different kind of combatants and then along with that, we have bearers, which are basically queens. They stay with the kittens while they're in the nursery nursing and also while they're expecting them. And then after that, they kind of leave and give it more to the um, the nurturers. They kind of help out a lot more than the queens do. Obviously, the queens still show up, but they are just called bearers now. Uh, and then we also have the trainees who are just apprentices, they're training. Uh, kits are now just called kittens, because I did change, like I said, every single rank, just because I might as well. And then there are the seniors, who are the elders, and then, as I said before, they have handlers, who uh, I don't know if I'm calling them handlers or nurturers right now. I've been kind of toying with both, but they are basically cats that stay in the nursery, and they look after the kittens when their parents aren't there and they pass down the stories and the history and they also keep control of like the dens so if the dens need fixing it all they do that so that's basically all the stuff i've changed name wise and rank wise and then the last thing i have to tell you about is star clan and that kind of thing now i've talked before about how in amicide the afterlifes are different and i finally figured it out changing the name has just really helped me like figure out all the little bits as I'm changing everything. So, Starclan, it has now been renamed to the Green Eternal, or just Green Eternal, and it's basically somewhere that everyone goes. Uh, even if you're evil, even if you're bad, you go there, and that's basically it. Um, cats such as Sedge, who, if you remember from my other videos, was the leader before Hound, he is in the Green Eternal, even though he sh he's a very bad cat and he was awful when he was alive. But uh, the difference with the Green Eternal is that you can be exiled and you can be killed by cats that have died and are there. So um, if you were killed, you go somewhere called the Void Eternal or the Blind Eternal. I think I'm going to call it the Void Eternal, but I'm still toying with that kind of thing. But that is basically like how the original Dark Forest was, where instead of cats fighting together and training, they were just sent there to wander without food. The Void Eternal is basically just a blank space where you have to just walk and you can't see anything and there's nothing else there. But yeah, other than that, the only other changes I've really made is that she-cats are just called mollies. That's the normal term uh, outside of worries anyway, so I've used that. Uh, it's also what we use a lot in the Amicide roleplay server, which also has all of these changes, and I'll link in the description. It's really fun. We're getting a lot of stuff done there. Uh, and then the other thing I changed is I changed the seasons. Summer is the warm season, autumn is the leaf season, winter is the cold season, and spring is the bloom season. So I've just changed like green leaf, new leaf, because I always get them confused anyway, so I thought I might as well change them. So uh, if I think of anything else that I need to change or I have changed, I will put it in probably a pinned comment or the description or it will be in my Discord servers if uh, I remember to do that. So look down there if you need any new information that you wonder if I've added anything. And also, if you read that doc, and you, uh, the document down below, and you think that I should change more, if there are more issues that I haven't looked at, that I should change, please let me know. Obviously, I'm happy to change anything that I need to. I've already changed so much to make this completely separate from Warriors. Obviously, it's still influenced and inspired. There is a lot of Warrior Cat influence in the story because it originally was a Warrior Cat story, but I am not afraid to change things that would uh, make it even further from Warriors if it's in the best interest of people and their needs, especially coming uh, from the part of where the, it's people's culture being used for the, the series that people don't want happening. So yeah, um, I think finally that is everything. As I said, I'll pin anything that I think I've forgotten and also I will do another video on how each colony differs. That's quite different to this kind of thing because it's less how I've changed the entire structure and more in story how like Thistle Colony do this thing but Creek Colony do this thing and yeah, stuff like that.
so uh, thank you so much for watching um, the thumbnail contest for my map which is my last post uh, is still running if you make a thumbnail for the last Christmas map which uh, is closed now that we're getting parts in really quickly it's really fun it should be done by Christmas uh, if you do have a thumbnail post it somewhere tag me put it in one of my discord servers do anything like that and I will see it and even if it doesn't win it will be in the credits of the video anyway so you might as well have a go and you'll be featured regardless with credit of course so yeah thank you for watching stay safe I hope everyone is doing well. I know school's started up. It's started up for me, which is why I've been kind of slow with uploads. But I hope everyone's school is going well. And yeah, I will see you over on my community tab and in my discords. See ya.